Hi everyone, so this is a continuation video on how to find the derivative for a function by using numerical methods such as um, D1 and D2 formula. So we want to try to find the approximation for this derivative fx equals to sine x. When we know the derivative of this will give me will give us cos x. Now if x if x equals to pi over 3, so we have f prime pi over 3. This is cos pi over 3, which is 0 0.50000. Put another one, six decimal. So these are our exact solution. Now I want to tell you that how if instead of finding the derivatives in this way, we use numerical approach to find the derivative. Okay, so you need to watch another video on the introduction to this um, D1 and D2 formula. So we have D1, which is the forward different formula that obtained by Taylor series expansion as F x plus h minus fx divided by h and we have this d2 formula as f x plus h minus f x minus h divided by 2h okay, this, this is the forward difference this is the central difference formula now i want to show you that how you can obtain close to exact solution by using the combination of uh, for certain values of h for d1 and the combination for certain value of h for d2 okay let's focus on first using d1 okay forward difference this is a method that we want to use to find the derivative d1 x h okay so we want to find for the derivative of um, fx equals to sine x fx equals to sine x by using d1 formula okay so let's look at this so let's use uh, use h equals to 0 0.4 h equals to 0 0.2 and h equals to 0 0.1 okay we want to use this different values of h and see how close the approximation can get to the solution okay so d1 x h where d1 x is pi over 3 okay we know that for um x pi over 3 cos pi over 3 0 0.5 right so we want to see how the approximation gives by d1 formula is it close to the z okay so i have 0 0.4 now um so we have sine x plus h which is pi over 3 plus 0 0.4 minus sine pi over 3 divided by 0 0.4 so this is my d1 formula so i'm using d1 formula okay so using your calculator you should get 0 0.315865 Next is to use h for h equals to 0 0.2. So I have d1 pi over 3 0 0.2. So sine pi over 3 plus 0 0.2 minus sine pi over 3 divided by 0 0.2. Now, using a calculator, you should get 0 0.410359. 
Okay, um, make sure, please make sure when you using your calculator, sign must be in radian. Okay, so I will just point here in radian. Okay, okay, now continuing for h0.1, so we have d1x h d1 pi over 3 0 0.1 I have sine pi over 3 plus 0 0.1 minus sine pi over 3 divided by 0 0.1 uh, pressing your calculator will give you 0 0.455901 Okay, if you're using six decimal point, make sure your whole, your every answer that giving is stick to six decimal point. Okay, now I have three different value here. So I'm going to draw a table now. Okay, so for this three different value, let's say this is my table. These are my H values, which is 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. These are my uh, D1 values. So I have first is 0 0.31, 315865, and the second one is 0 0.410359 for 0 0.2. Now for 0 0.1, I have 0 0.455901. Okay, we have three different approximation by using three different values of H. Okay, now let's see. I want to find 2 times D1, 0 0.1 minus D1, 0 0.2. That will be my answer here. Okay, so using this combination, so which is 2 times... 2 times this, D1, pi over 3, 0 0.1 is this value here, 0 0.455901 minus this value here, 0 0.410359. You can see that you have obtained 0 0.501. Four, four, three. Okay, you have your approximation closer to the exact solution. Okay, the exact solution is 0 0.5000. So, by taking approximate minus exact, you have the error of 0 0.001. Okay, so why? Why this combination? is more accurate so to answer this you have to wait because I still have to find the approximation using D2 formula okay now similarly okay I want to use D2 the central difference formula okay by the central difference formula, D2 x h, which is f x plus h minus f x minus h, divide by 2 times h. Okay, so I want to find for different values of h. First, for h 0 0.4, x is pi over 3, so... I have sine pi over 3 plus 0 0.4 minus sine pi over 3 minus 0 0.4 divided by 2 times 0 0.4. Okay, now this, you use a calculator to find this, you should get 0 0.4867. 
Similarly, d2 for x pi over 3, h is now 0 0.2. I have sine pi over 3 plus 0 0.2 minus sine pi over 3 minus 0 0.2 divided by 2 times 0 0.2. By using a calculator, you have 0 0.496673. Now, lastly, for h equals to 0 0.1, d2 pi over 3 h 0 0.1. So, I have sine pi over 3 plus 0 0.1 minus sine pi over 3 minus 0 0.1 divided by 2 times 0 0.1 Okay, using your calculator gives you 0 0.499167 Okay, now uh, doing the table that I've done for exactly for my D1, so I have H for 0 0.4 0 0.2 0 0.1 and these are my D2XH. For 0 0.4, I will obtain 0 0.486773. This one. Now for D2H is 0 0.2, I have obtained 0 0.496673. And lastly, for H0.1, I have obtained 0 0.499167. Okay, now for this D2 formula, because it's central difference, I'll explain to you later on, we are going to use this combination for D2, for H0.1 minus D2, 0 divide by 3 okay so we have 4 times d2 for h0.1 is 0 0.499167 minus d2 for this one 0 0.496673 divide by 3 now this gives me 0 0.499 9 8 very small error and close to 0 0.5 okay our exact solution is 0 0.5 okay so we have seen that we have used two different um, combination formula okay so what i have explained to you is the combination that we have done here is called extrapolation okay i don't have much time but i want to show you in my next video what is extrapolation here means and how you can get the solution close to the exact solution okay so if you have time just google it read it about this extrapolation technique okay that's all See you in the next video.